Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install WordPress, the full guide to do it on um, 00 web host, the easiest way like to make your website for free and stuff. So, first off, what you need to do is go to 00webhost.com and you need to sign up here. It's totally free. So, what you want to do first, if you already have a domain, you can just chant, but you probably don't since you're like new or something. So just make a domain like blah whatever and your name and they will give you the account details on your email whatever. So do that. So I already I made a test account for this sake of this video. So go I made it, it's called test one two three four. If we go to it, that's it says this is the first thing it's gonna say when you make your website. It's gonna say your website is up and running. Website test one two three four at host eight something like that. So it's just please delete default.php so how we do that next you need to do is download FileZilla so you go to google.com and you just search for FileZilla there we go and you click on download and then click on the whichever one you have Linux, Mac, you probably have Windows because like it's cheaper <laughs> but this is all free so download Windows 3.26132 this setup dot exe so do that now you want to go to the C panel it's very nice you get like I'll give you a link on the side of video since I'm so nice I'm gonna probably make it a shorter URL so you don't have to type all this zero zero web host I just make it a tiny URL so you just like click it and then you're there you get um 100 gigabytes of bandwidth um hold up we got somebody in the room here, but whatever. So you, yeah, okay. So you get a um, lot of bandwidth. You get 100 gigabytes when you first start off with your 00 web host account. So now what you want to do is go to um, where it says view FTP details. So here they are. So now what I, I don't even remember my password. So if you forget the password you make the account with, I'm just like gonna change it real quick because I forgot it. Got to um, change account password, so I just make a new password. I want to call it test one two three four. Test one two three four. Don't think that's my password for everything, cause it's not. So yeah, we just got the FTP de details. So now that you downloaded FileZilla and you installed it, you might you might want to go in FileZilla, and open it up. This is how you connect to it. Just so you can like throw in there all the WordPress files and stuff you need to download so where it says host name you copy that for us it's test.12 test1234 at host something like that dot com so there you type that and then you type the username and then type that and then the password which is test1234 so that's let's connect see if it worked and successfully connected make this bigger so you might want to go to the public HTML folder or you might you want to and you delete that default.php remember it said default.php now let's test it we get nothing alright so now where you want to go now is go to wordpress.org it says download wordpress 2.8 just download it All right just download it so already, since I already downloaded it, you're gonna get a folder like this. Just extract it, and then you're gonna get all these files. A lot of these. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna extract it here. Yes, to us since I already had it there. So then you'll get this folder. Okay. So what you do now? This is kind of the hardest part. Well, not really. Just go to wp. Where is it? It's config something like that. Wp config. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. WP config sample. So you open that up on Notepad or whatever thing you have. Make this big. This is where you're supposed to edit edit it. So you gotta list accounts. Alright. Take a while. This is the hardest part, sorta. You gotta uh, my SQL, I think that's what it's called. And you have to make a new database name. So what you wanna call it is um whatever you want. One um name, whatever, one two, then the username. Call it user. Whatever. And then the password make it the same thing. Test one, two, three, four. Test one two three four. And then you create a database. Now you get all this information. Go back to my SQL. Remember all that right down somewhere. 
Now this is the um first we're gonna do what's first here. It says my SQL settings, you can get this info from your web host, which you already have of the database. This is where you put the database name here. So we're gonna get the database name we created. The database. Copy that up. And then you put that right there. Boom. See we replaced it. Then the user. We're gonna copy that up. Control or copy whatever. And then the database username here. Boom. We got that up. Now the password it says your password here. So we're gonna change that to test. Oh test. One, two, three, four, that's what we made the password. And you're gonna have to change the local host since we don't use that local host on this free web hosting. You gotta copy that one up and then paste your local host. Make sure there's no space on that. Make sure you still leave these little dash thingies, right? Then you click on save as and then what you do is go to all files and then you take out the sample, you call it wpconfig.php. It's gonna ask me to replace it since it's already there, so I'll click yeah, whatever it shows up. And now you're gonna get this one called wpconfig. Alright, so now what you do is drag all these files, cop control A to copy them all or just highlight them all if you're old school. Just um drag them to the root of your public H wait, public HTML, yeah. So yeah, now it's done. Um I came accidentally pressed stop on the video, so yeah, okay, so now that it's done sending all that stuff, like it's gonna say success successful transfers, it might be it's gonna be all of them if you get it right. And if you get some failed transfers, just right click them and then just click um reset and requeen selected files and it's gonna be up here. Then click process qu queen, I think that's what it's called. <sighs> so now what you wanna do is go to um your internet browser, which is not working right now with me, I don't know why. Wait. So internet, hold up here. So yeah, now we're back. And so what you we got no mail. So now what you need to do is um go to um yeah your account. So click on your domain to go to your domain whatever, and it's gonna redirect you to wp admin slash install forward slash install that php. All right. So yeah, and then. It's gonna ask you for a blog title. Call it um. I'm gonna call it YouTube tutorial test blog. Whatever your email. Um. Your it's gonna be it has to be real. Your but I'm gonna put a fake one since I'm gonna delete this later. Your email at Yahoo whatever. And make sure this is checked because it's better if it appears on Google and stuff. Unless it's personal, so now it'll give you a uh, generated password. So copy that, and then log in. So put that. It's we successfully already installed WordPress, so you should be happy. It's always gonna be admin. Now put the generated password. I always click remember me, and then log in. Now it's you should be logged in and here you have WordPress and this is how your website should look now. Let's go to that website. YouTube tutorial test blog. So